AP Calculus Note Card 2 Limits. This is the second in the series of uh, the videos on the note cards that were taught to me in summer sessions by Stacy McMullen, formerly the Dallas Independent School District. In addition to two summer sessions with Stacy, I also was mentored for two years by Tracy Etheridge, who worked alongside Stacy in the use and development of the note card system. So uh, here we are. Let's go to the details of that. And here we have limits. Verbally, if f of x becomes arbitrarily close to a single number l as l approaches c from either side, then the limit of f of x as x approaches c is, is l. And I would even put a shorter version of that. I would say I would say, uh, I would summarize and say, uh, you have a limit, okay, a limit exists if left hand limit or left side limit is equal to right side limit. So that's how I would just kind of abbreviate. Anyway, graphically, what we see here is at the value of x equals c, we have the same value being approached from both sides. And so you know the function does not actually have to be defined at that x value c, but the same limit has to be, value has to be approached from the left side and the right side. Analytically, this is how it would look like. Uh, limits x approaches c of f of x equals l if iff, if and only if, the limit as x approaches c from the right side of f of x equals the limit as x approaches c from the left side of that same function f of x. And numerically, we see that we are, as the x values approach negative 7 from each side, the value of 2.6 is being approached. And what happens is even if we didn't have this, even if we had a, undefined, let's say we had instead of 2.6 here, let's say we had undefined, we would still have a limit of 2.6 since we are approaching the value of 2.6 from both sides. Then below limits of sums, differences, products, quotients, and composite functions can also be found. And now we're going to go over a few examples of this. <clears throat> uh, one, using the graph of h of x to the right, which statement is not true? And so we have the limit as x approaches a from the left side of h of x equals limit as x approaches a from the right side of h of x. And you can see that we are, as we approach a from the left side and from the right side, that we are honing into the same value here, even though the function does not appear to be defined with this hole here at x equals a. So that actually is true, so we know that that's not a correct answer. b, limit as x approaches c of h as x equals 5. Well, here we have, here we have c, and from the left side, it looks like we're approaching an L value of 5 from the right side we are likewise approaching that, that value of 5. So that looks like it is correct. We, which, we want the one that's not true. So B is, is true. Um, now C, the limit is, as X approaches B of H of X does not exist. Well, here for C, we have the left-hand limit approaching this like 0.5, and the right-hand limit is approaching 2. And so the limit as x approaches b from the left side of h of x 
equals the limit as x approaches b from the right side of h of x. Is that true? No, because 0 0.5, 0 0.5 is not equal to 2. And so the left hand and right hand side limit are not equal. So which one is not true? I think C has to be our correct answer. And then uh, finally, choice D, the limit as X approaches C from the right side is 2. Well, yeah, we already, this, this side is true, right? The limit as X approaches C from the right side is true. That, that's not right. So the one that's not wrong, or the one that's not true, is answer choice C. To use the graphs of f of x and r of x to find a through d. So this is not a multiple choice, it's, it's separate problems. So we have the limit as x approaches 2, a, the limit as x approaches 2 of x cubed f of x is what? Well, we look up here, we say list limits of sums, differences, products, quotients, and composite functions can also be found. And that's what we're going to be doing in this set here. Well, here we're going to have, uh, for as a approaches 2, we're going to have 2 cubed. And then, which is going to be 8 times f of 2. And actually the limit as we're approaching. So we're approaching 2. So that would be 2. So we're going to have 3, 2 cubed times 2, so we're going to have 16. That's what that's going to be for part A. B, the limit as x approaches uh, negative 1 of f of x over r of x. Well, negative 1 looks like for f of x, we have negative 1, and then... And we're, as we go to as r of x, if we approach negative 1, we have 0. So we have negative 1 divided by 0. So that's going to be undefined since division by 0 is not defined. Undefined, sometimes you'll see, does not exist. Uh, C, limit as x approaches 2 of r of f of x. And so this is a composite function. So we're a composition. So we want f of 2. Well, that's going to be 2. So that's going to be the limit as x approaches 2 of r of, and we define at the limit of fx is 2, so we will say that's going to be 2. Which we, which we already had. And for that, it looks like we have 0. Okay. Yeah, that's that should be right. Zero. Okay. Then D is X uh, approaches when we have F of X plus R of X. And so for one, we have F of X is going to be one plus for R of X, do we have a limit there? plus undefined. Okay, so our answer to this one is going to be undefined. So there we are. A uh, few little examples and the principle of limits. This is one thing that we refer back to many times as we go forward. Good luck and thanks for viewing.